On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna take a look at needle valves. While a globe valve is good for throttling, we're still dealing with fairly large volumes, like a bypass on a pressure reducing station or a bypass on a boiler feed water valve. But when we're dealing with very small volumes, like surface skimming, we need something that's even more precise. And so that's where the needle valve comes in. If you look at this needle valve, the seat's actually quite unusual. Um, it's, a, it's actually four little V slots. And what that does, it allows as the valve opens to begin with only a tiny portion of that V exposed. And that's gonna give us a very restricted, very limited flow. And then as we throttle the valve open, that V surface or that V area gets larger and larger until we get to the flow of the valve. So if we're trying to throttle something precisely, it's hard to beat a needle valve. Now, if we're trying to be particular, one other thing that we'll often do on surface skimmers is note what our valve position is. So these needle valves are actually equipped with a graduated scale to show the proportion that it's open. So if we finally get this set exactly where we want to control our conductivity, but we're gonna shut the boiler down for the weekend, we can close this and then reopen it to the same spot it was on Monday with pretty good reliability.